I'm James Sloan. I'm the Internal Recruitment Advisor at Pinchy Energies. I've recruited hundreds of people over the years, so you should have a good understanding of what makes you stand out from the crowd. Here are my top tips. I regularly have 30 to 40 CVs come through to me each day. So your CV is really going to be simple, easy to read. There's no need for fancy designs or fonts. Bullet points are definite must. Don't forget also to put your contact details and your name at the top. We need to be able to get in touch. Put yourself in the mind of the employer. What would they be looking for? Put that information first. In engineering, there are various accreditations, certificates, and qualifications that you have to tick. If we can see those instantly, it will make us read more. If you're applying for an internship or a graduate role, the likelihood is that you probably don't have a lot of work experience. So make sure your education goes in there first. Always detail the courses that you've done, the accreditations that you've managed to work towards, because some of this information will be relevant to obviously the roles that we're recruiting for. List your work experience chronologically with your most recent role first. Simply give the company name, the job title, and the dates of employment. The rest can be put into bullet point format. Again, it makes it easy to read. Also, if you've been part of a tech club or you have hobbies, for instance, like battling robots, put that down as work experience too. That would also help. In the early stages of a career, it can be difficult to tell your CV the two obvious roles. However, it is very noticeable if you're sending out a template CV to lots of different people. If you can, try and make it as specific as possible to each individual position. Finally, keep an Excel spreadsheet of where you've applied to. Write down the role, the person you applied to, the company name, and also any job reference number. Then after a week, if you haven't heard, give them a call. The candidates that stand out to me are the ones that call me, show a bit of drive, show a bit of intuition, and want to find out what the situation is with their application. Ultimately, it very much is a numbers game recruitment and finding a job. Don't be disheartened if you don't get through the first time. Keep going. I wish you all the very best of luck.